In the 14th century, a dark and deadly shadow loomed over Europe. It was the time of the Black Death, a devastating pandemic that would forever alter the course of history. As the mysterious disease swept through cities and villages, it brought with it fear, despair, and unimaginable suffering. Join me as we delve into the chilling tale of the Black Death, where humanity's resilience and the quest for survival clashed with an invisible enemy, leaving an indelible mark on the world. In the mid-14th century, a silent and unseen enemy began its merciless march across Europe. It was the Black Death, a devastating pandemic that would forever be etched in history. The first signs of the disease appeared in the bustling trading cities of Italy, where ships laden with goods unknowingly carried a hidden passenger, the deadly bacterium Yersinia pestis. As the infected vessels docked in ports, the disease stealthily infiltrated the crowded streets and bustling markets. At first, the symptoms were dismissed as ordinary fevers, but it wasn't long before the truth became impossible to ignore. The Black Death had arrived, and it was spreading with alarming speed. From Italy, the disease made its way north, unleashing its wrath upon cities like Paris, London, and Barcelona. Panic gripped the hearts of the people as they witnessed loved ones succumb to the illness, their bodies ravaged by agonizing symptoms. Swollen lymph nodes, high fever, and dark, purplish patches on the skin marked the onset of the disease, earning it the name, Black Death. As the death toll rose exponentially, a chilling realization took hold, no one was safe. The disease showed no mercy, cutting across social classes, infecting both the wealthy and the destitute. Fear spread like wildfire, paralyzing communities as they watched their neighbors and friends fall victim to the merciless plague. Overwhelmed by the sheer number of casualties, burial grounds became macabre scenes of despair. Mass graves were hastily dug, unable to keep pace with the relentless procession of death. The air was heavy with the stench of decay, a constant reminder of the fragility of life. In the face of this unimaginable horror, superstition and desperation took hold. People sought solace in any means available, turning to quack doctors, herbal remedies, and religious rituals in a desperate attempt to ward off the disease. Some believed that the wrath of God had been unleashed upon humanity, while others blamed minority groups, sparking violence and persecution. As the Black Death continued its deadly march, entire villages were left abandoned, their inhabitants either dead or fleeing in a desperate bid for survival. Cities, once teeming with life, now stood eerily empty, their streets hauntingly devoid of human presence. Yet, amidst the darkness, glimmers of hope emerged. Brave individuals and communities banded together, defying the odds and offering aid to the afflicted. Doctors, priests, and ordinary citizens risked their lives to care for the sick, providing comfort and solace in the face of unimaginable suffering. The arrival of doom was a cataclysmic event that forever altered the course of history. It shattered the established social order, leaving a profound impact on the economic, political, and religious spheres. But it also served as a catalyst for change, spurring advances in medicine, hygiene, and public health that would shape the world for centuries to come. The Black Death was a somber reminder of the fragility of human life, but it also sparked a resilience and a newfound appreciation for the value of life itself. It is a chapter in history that we must never forget, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity in the face of unimaginable adversity. As the Black Death swept through Europe like a relentless reaper, its toll on society grew increasingly devastating. The once thriving cities and villages now bore witness to the harrowing consequences of the plague. The death toll rose exponentially, 
overwhelming the capacity of burial grounds and leaving communities in a state of perpetual mourning. Gravediggers toiled tirelessly, day and night, struggling to keep up with the relentless influx of bodies. Mass graves, devoid of individual markers, became a haunting symbol of the sheer scale of the tragedy. The streets, once bustling with life, now echoed with silence. Shops and markets stood empty as fear paralyzed the remaining inhabitants. Trade and commerce ground to a halt, leaving economies shattered and communities teetering on the brink of collapse. Families were torn apart as loved ones succumbed to the disease. The Black Death showed no mercy, claiming lives across all walks of life. Nobles, peasants, clergy, and merchants all fell victim to its merciless grip. The loss of skilled laborers left fields untended and crops unharvested, exacerbating the already dire food shortages. The physical toll of the disease was matched only by the psychological trauma it inflicted. Survivors grappled with immense grief, survivor's guilt, and the constant fear of contracting the disease themselves. The once tight-knit fabric of society frayed as suspicion and paranoia took hold. Neighbors turned against neighbors, accusing one another of spreading the plague. The medical community, ill-equipped to comprehend the nature of the disease, was helpless in the face of the Black Death's onslaught. Physicians and healers struggled to find effective treatments, resorting to archaic practices and untested remedies. Their efforts were often in vain, as the disease continued its relentless march, unabated. In the absence of effective medical intervention, people turned to faith for solace. Churches and religious institutions became sanctuaries for the afflicted, offering prayers and spiritual guidance. Yet, even the hallowed halls of worship could not provide respite from the relentless toll of the plague. Clergy members fell victim to the disease as they provided comfort to the dying and performed last rites. The psychological and emotional toll of the Black Death reverberated long after the disease itself had subsided. The loss of an estimated 25 million lives in Europe left a profound demographic impact, altering the course of history. Entire villages were decimated, leaving behind ghostly reminders of the devastation. However, amidst the darkness, there were those who displayed acts of extraordinary compassion and bravery. In the face of overwhelming suffering, individuals and communities rallied together, offering support and care to the afflicted. These unsung heroes risked their own lives to provide comfort, bury the dead, and tend to the sick, embodying the resilience of the human spirit. The Grim Reaper's Toll serves as a haunting reminder of the fragility of human life and the indomitable nature of the Black Death. It left scars that would take generations to heal and forever altered the social, economic, and cultural landscape of Europe. It is a somber chapter in history, a testament to the capacity for both despair and resilience within the human experience. In the wake of the Black Death's devastating onslaught, desperation and despair gripped communities across Europe. As the disease spread like wildfire, people found themselves grappling with the unimaginable horrors and resorting to desperate measures to protect themselves and their loved ones. Fear permeated every aspect of daily life. The plague's invisible presence turned once thriving cities into ghost towns as people retreated into the confines of their homes, hoping to shield themselves from the disease's reach. Markets stood empty, businesses shuttered, and streets that were once vibrant with activity now lay deserted. Amidst the chaos, individuals sought solace in any means available. Quack doctors and charlatans peddled false cures and potions, taking advantage of the desperate and vulnerable. From bizarre concoctions to amulets and charms, people clung to any semblance of hope, no matter how irrational. Folk remedies and superstitious practices abounded. 
Some believe that the foul stench of the plague could be warded off by carrying fragrant herbs or flowers, while others resorted to wearing masks with beak-like extensions filled with aromatic substances, hoping to filter out the disease. Such desperate measures often provided little more than a false sense of security. The scarcity of reliable medical knowledge and the overwhelming nature of the disease led to the scapegoating and persecution of various groups. Jews, beggars, and foreigners became easy targets for blame and were subjected to violent attacks and mass killings. The Black Death exacerbated existing prejudices and divisions, further fracturing already fragile social bonds. In the face of mounting death tolls, families were torn apart as loved ones fell victim to the disease. The infected were often isolated, sealed off from the rest of society in an attempt to contain the spread. This forced separation fueled a sense of isolation and despair, leaving the afflicted to face their suffering alone. The loss of life and the constant presence of death permeated every aspect of existence. The grieving process became distorted, as people mourned multiple losses within their families and communities simultaneously. The psychological toll was immense, leaving survivors burdened with survivors' guilt and haunted by the specter of death. Resources became scarce as the disease ravaged populations. Food shortages plagued cities and villages, leading to widespread famine and malnutrition. With laborers struck down by the disease, fields lay untended and crops rotted, exacerbating the already dire situation. As desperation grew, people turned to drastic measures. Some resorted to looting and theft, driven by the need to survive. Others abandoned their homes and families, seeking refuge in remote areas, hoping to escape the clutches of the plague. The breakdown of societal norms and the erosion of trust left communities in a state of chaos and instability. Yet, despite the overwhelming despair, acts of compassion and selflessness emerged from the darkness. Neighbors banded together to support one another, sharing meager resources and offering comfort in the face of unimaginable loss. Religious institutions and charitable organizations worked tirelessly to provide aid and care to the sick and dying, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the prevailing despair. Desperation and despair serve as a testament to the depths of human suffering and the lengths people will go to in their quest for survival. It is a chapter in history that showcases both the darkest aspects of humanity and the resilience of the human spirit. Amidst the darkness and despair of the Black Death, there were moments of light and acts of extraordinary bravery that offered glimmers of hope to communities ravaged by the plague. In the face of unimaginable suffering, individuals and communities banded together, demonstrating the resilience and compassion of the human spirit. Brave individuals emerged as unsung heroes, risking their lives to care for the sick and dying. Doctors, nurses, and caregivers worked tirelessly, offering what little medical knowledge they possessed to provide comfort and support. Their selflessness and dedication in the face of danger brought solace to many and served as a testament to the power of human empathy. Religious institutions played a crucial role in providing aid during this trying time. Monasteries and convents opened their doors to the afflicted, transforming into makeshift hospitals and providing care to those in need. Monks and nuns tended to the sick, offering prayers, comfort, and even rudimentary medical treatments. Their acts of compassion and devotion provided a glimmer of hope in the darkest hours. Communities rallied together to support one another. Neighbors and friends offered assistance to those who had lost family members or were unable to care for themselves. They shared meager resources, ensuring that no one was left completely destitute. Collectively, they formed a support network that offered emotional and practical support in the face of immense tragedy. Strangers, too, extended a helping hand.
Travelers passing through plague-stricken areas risked their own lives to offer aid and care. These good Samaritans defied the odds, providing comfort to the suffering and burying the dead with dignity. Their acts of kindness demonstrated the inherent goodness within humanity, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. In some instances, communities implemented innovative measures to combat the spread of the disease. Quarantine protocols were established, isolating the infected to prevent further transmission. Efforts were made to sanitize and cleanse living spaces and public areas, recognizing the importance of basic hygiene in curbing the spread of the disease. The arts and literature also played a role in providing solace and hope. In the midst of the plague's devastation, works of art and literature emerged that reflected the human experience and sought to convey a sense of resilience and hope. These creative expressions served as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, beauty and inspiration can endure. While the toll of the Black Death was immense, it is essential to remember the stories of resilience, compassion, and unity that emerged. The acts of bravery and selflessness displayed by individuals and communities during this dark period in history remind us of the unwavering capacity for hope and compassion within the human spirit. The glimmers of hope that emerged during the Black Death continue to inspire us today. They serve as a reminder that even in the face of unimaginable suffering, humanity has the strength to come together, support one another, and find solace in acts of kindness and compassion. The Black Death left an indelible mark on European society, its impact reverberating long after the disease itself had subsided. Its lingering legacy can be observed in the profound demographic, economic, and cultural changes that shaped the world for centuries to come. Demographically, the Black Death had a devastating effect. It is estimated that between 25 to 75 million lives were lost during the pandemic, resulting in a significant decline in population. Entire villages and communities were decimated, leaving behind ghostly reminders of the magnitude of the tragedy. The loss of skilled laborers further compounded the issue, leading to labor shortages and exacerbating the economic fallout. The severe shortage of workers meant that those who survived the plague gained newfound bargaining power. Peasants and serfs demanded higher wages and better working conditions, challenging the long-standing feudal system. This shift in power dynamics eventually paved the way for the decline of feudalism and the rise of a more modern, individualistic society. Economically, the Black Death brought about significant disruptions. The shortage of laborers led to a decline in agricultural productivity, as fields lay untended and crops rotted. Food scarcity and inflation gripped the region, causing widespread famine and hardship. The collapse of trade networks and the disruption of commerce further deepened the economic crisis. However, the aftermath of the Black Death also spurred economic recovery and transformation. The scarcity of labor prompted technological advancements and innovations, as societies sought to find more efficient methods of production. The increased demand for goods and services led to the rise of urban centers and the growth of a burgeoning middle class. These developments laid the groundwork for the transition from a feudal agrarian society to a more urban and commercial one. The pandemic also had a profound impact on culture and society. The experience of witnessing the mass death and suffering caused a profound shift in people's worldview. The fragility of life and the omnipresence of death became recurring themes in art, literature, and religious practices. The concept of memento mori, or the reminder of death, became pervasive, serving as a constant reminder of the transience of life. The trauma of the Black Death led to a renewed focus on spirituality and introspection. Religious movements such as the Flagellant Movement gained popularity, 
as people sought solace in piety and repentance. The Church, grappling with the crisis, faced challenges to its authority as people questioned the efficacy of religious institutions in the face of such devastation. The Black Death also sparked a renewed thirst for knowledge and an intellectual awakening. Survivors and those who witnessed the devastation sought to understand the causes of the disease and explore ways to prevent future outbreaks. This quest for knowledge laid the groundwork for advancements in medicine, public health, and scientific inquiry. The lingering legacy of the Black Death shaped the world in profound ways. It forever altered the social, economic, and cultural fabric of Europe. It dismantled traditional power structures, spurred economic transformations, and paved the way for a more individualistic and urban society. The trauma and resilience of this period continue to resonate, reminding us of the lasting impact of catastrophic events on the course of history.